Hello guys, welcome back. Quite a fun concept, this one. I want to explain it, and I want this to be the nail in the coffin, because I hear so much shit about this. That why is there a gender pay gap in sports? Now, something that a lot of people forget is that in the UFC, there isn't a gender pay gap. In tennis, there isn't a gender pay gap. There was, and it's somewhat valid. You know, Serena Williams said that even if the guy who's ranked 60th played me, I'd be lucky, you know, to win a game. And um, she actually played, I think she actually played a guy and she, she lost like six love, six love, six one or something like that. So it just goes to prove that the man, you know, men are far superior in terms of phys physicality. You know, it makes sense. But in stuff like the UFC, women do get paid a fair amount because why? It's entertaining. And I've got a, I've got a theory about this that when you have, when you have a measurable component women are always going to get paid less. Okay, so 100 meter sprinting. Who's faster, men or women? Men. Who's got the world records? You know, there's women's world record and men, but who's got the, the fastest one? Men. You know, why would you watch the slower race? It doesn't make sense. Now let's go to basketball. Now the hoop is, uh, I think it's 10 foot, right? The men can dunk very, very easily. You know, you get people like LeBron that are clearing it by like that much, you know, the head's over it so much. And some of the dunks from like Zion Williamson is just incredible. You know, you've never seen anything like it, right? So then you watch the, the WNBA and there's only been like seven dunks in history. Now, why would you watch it? It's an inferior level of the sport. It's like watching the second division in football. It's just not, it's not as good as it could be. So of course you're not going to watch it. You're only going to watch the best, right? If women were dunking on 12 foot hoops, you'd be like, fuck, I'm going to watch this. This is way cooler. But... People don't want to watch something that's inferior. And this is my theory, is that in the UFC, it's a woman fighting a woman. Which, you know, it's going to be fair. And if the women are slower and they don't hit as hard as the men, there's no way to, there's no way to find that because there's no measurable, tangible that's always in place. You know, this woman hits the other woman. She drops, she goes out cold. It's a highlight reel knockout. She's a fucking superstar. Amanda Nunes, welcome to the show. If she hit... Conor McGregor, he's probably going to take it like a champ. You know, I'm thinking who's roughly around the same sort of weight that would be like a superstar. She, if like Amanda Nunes cracked, let's say, maybe somebody like Jose Aldo, he's around about that weight right now, or um, like Volkanovski, if she cracked him, he's not going to move. He might just be like, oh, damn, that hurt. But, you know, it's not the same power that the men hit with. And his bone density is tougher. He can, his, his punch resistance is going to be a lot better. If he jabs her, he's probably going to rearrange her face. But they're not fighting each other. You know, in that scenario, you'd be like, oh, well, the men are way better than the women. You, they're not. It's a woman fighting a woman. That is why Ronda Rousey and all these girls, Amanda Nunes, are getting the big bucks. Because they're just doing what their job is. A woman gets put in front of them, they knock the woman out. And it's the same in tennis. Like, it's a woman playing against a woman. And yeah, the serves might not be as fast. The shots might not be as fast or as powerful. You know, they might not be sprinting around the court as fast. But when you're playing against another woman, it's an equal battle. So Serena Williams hits a serve, it flies past the, the opposing woman, and everyone's like, oh, damn, she's amazing. Ace, it's amazing. She's so good. Oh, she cleaned the floor with that girl. She is unbelievable. She played against a man, he'd get there, hit it back, and she wouldn't be able to return it. You know, his power and speed would be too much. But because she's playing against the woman, that's the measurable. So we look at that measurable and we're like, based on who she's playing against, she's fucking amazing. Serena Williams, here's the big bucks. You're a superstar. But when it comes to things, like I said, like basketball, Olympic sprinting, football. Football's a big one right now in terms of like soccer in the UK. So everyone says, why aren't the women football players or soccer players getting paid as much as the men? Well, it's not fun. You know, they make a ton more mistakes. The skill level's a lot lower. The shots are slower. The sprints are a lot worse. There's one Brazilian guy who's fucking amazing. But, you know, the shots aren't as powerful. The saves from the keepers are, are way worse. You know, the headers aren't, they don't jump as high. The movement's not as good. Like, there's so many measurable tangibles that are specific to football that the women aren't as good at. So you're not going to watch a substandard level of football. At the Women's World Cup, yeah, it was good. It's the best standard it's ever been. But if the Men's World Cup was on, nobody would watch it. And this is the problem that news reporters and the players get all hyped and say, women's football's on the rise, everyone's going to watch it. As soon as men's football starts again, it's a better standard. People are going to pick the better standard. 
It's like if I invented an iPad tomorrow and I tried to compete with Apple, it's probably going to be shit. I don't even know where to start. I don't know what I'd do. I wouldn't be like, oh, yes, yeah, you know, they're just because I'm not a techie, they're being Texas. You know, they're going against me. Oh, it's, it's, it's racist because I'm a tall white guy with a beard. They're so racist. You know, I, I'd just be like, oh, yeah, wait, of course, like my one was shit. The product's not good enough. You know, it's just it's just fucking stupid. I, I don't know why I don't know why these women get so carried away and think that it's going to blow up. It's like, look, if you want the sport to be as good as the men, be as good as the men, if not better. You know, I'm, sh I'm sure in Formula One, if there was a woman, here's a perfect example, okay? So in Formula One, it, yeah, it comes down to physicality a lot with endurance. Like a lot of the guys have crazy cardio, crazy neck strength, you know, etc. But... And it reaction speed focus and stuff like that. But if a woman was as good a driver as the men, because the car's doing a lot of the work, she'd be let in. You know, she, she'd become an absolute superstar. And it's like uh, horse racing with jockeys. There's a lot of women that compete with the men. There's no difference. You know, there's, there's female horses and male horses. And then there's female jockeys and male jockeys. A lot of female jockeys don't compete because they're not interested in it. You know, they want to do other jobs. It's... it's you know, men see it as quite a dangerous profession. It, you know, it suits the testosterone fueled um, chemical balance of the male. Whereas we, a lot of women look at it and they go, mm, I don't know, I like horses, but I don't want to really ride them like that. But women are lighter than men naturally. If they wanted to do this, you know, they could. And I'm sure 100% there would be a world class female jockey who could be a world champion time after time after time. And she could do it because there's no measurable. You know, she's actually lighter. She's better for this. Is she as strong as the men? Maybe she can get pretty close. I can't imagine jockeys are ridiculously strong. They're quite small guys. That's probably a profession that a woman could get into and become world champion and just dominate. You know, it could be insane. Uh, or, you know, it's not world champion, but just win multiple trophies, Gold Cup, Grand National, some of the Dubai races, I don't know, but make a great career out of it. Um, it could be the same with something like snooker. Like I imagine a woman could play snooker or darts and compete with the men, but they don't choose to do this. You know, there's no women that are good enough right now at that level. But when it's things like basketball, I'm like, look, you're not dunking. And also the, the butts aren't in the seats. You know, people always complain that men get paid too much in like soccer or football, whatever. Well, guess what? Pick up the remote, turn off the TV, stop watching it. Because the more you watch it, the more they're going to get paid because eyeballs bring in money you know, there's a reason Super Bowl ads are so expensive it's got a huge audience same with the World Cup um, but with women's sports people just choose not to watch it and it's not that anybody's sexist you know a lot of, I, I would see a woman's game and be like it doesn't excite me it doesn't excite me you know you show me a highlight video of the best 10 goals from women's football from the weekend I'd probably watch that I'm like, oh, I'll watch that, that'd be okay. But I don't want to watch women play football. Here we go. I don't want to watch humans play football that aren't as good as other humans playing football. You know, it's like taking your kid to soccer practice or football practice on a weekend. He might be eight years old. He's not very good, but he loves to play. You do it because it's your son, but you're not like, oh my, you're not there going, wow, he's amazing. Let's film this. Let's send it. Like, you're probably like, oh, fuck me. When does this game end? You know, 10 minutes. Oh, thank God for that. He's fallen over eight times in the mud. You know, it's the same with the women. Like, she goes to catch the ball and it drops in the back of the net. It happens quite often. I don't know if it does anymore. But you're not going to watch that when you've got somebody like Manuel Nua jumping through the air, tipping it over the crossbar with amazing acrobatic skills and physicality. You know, and Cristiano Ronaldo smacking in a free kick from 40 yards out, top corner. If that could happen in the women's game, I'd watch it. But there's not enough eyeballs for them to justify the pay rise. Like in the NBA at the moment, there's a lot of women complaining about um, equal pay. It's like, girl, you're not going to get two, three, four, five million per year. You're not going to land like a hundred million pound contract over five years because you can't justify the price. You know, fine. Let's say we live in the most PC world ever. Let's say, uh, what's his name? Dan Silver? Somebody Silver? Can't remember. He runs the NBA. He's the commissioner. Let's say he goes, okay. You know, we're losing money on the WNBA. We actually own shares in it, which they do. You know, we're losing money. We're funding it. We're quite disappointed. But, you know, in order to be PC in this new world, we're going to give women all the contracts that they want. You over there, you want to get paid as much as LeBron James? Here's 100 million over five years. Bang, done. Everyone happy? Great. Fast forward like three years, guys, and the NBA would have lost so much money. The WNBA, all of their teams would be out of business. 
You know, there's a reason that they moved from like Madison Square Garden to like local town halls to play their games. And I'm not, look, I'm not saying this to be a dick and attack women. I'm just saying you're not getting the eyeballs. You're not getting the butts in seats. You can't get the money. You can't get the money. Like there's men's, there's like a Lithuanian basketball league for men. It's not as popular as the NBA. They don't get paid as much as the guys in the NBA. They know that. They know they're happy to make a career out of it. And their aim is to get good enough to be in the NBA. They all think they're good enough. They all think they should get the big bucks. But until you prove it and you garner that following or you have that level of talent, it's not going to happen. So the whole gender pay gap thing, it's insane if, if you don't have anything to come with it, if you don't have the audience, if you don't have any bargaining power. You know, it's, 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 like, saying to, it's like me saying to all of you guys right now, send me a hundred pound. Why? Well, I just want you to send me a hundred pound. I make these free videos. You should, you should send me a hundred pound. You'd be like, have you, have you completed the streaming platform? Have you completed a product? You know, what are we getting in return? You're getting free content. You know, give me a hundred pound. Like it would be insane. So you've got to provide as much value in the other direction. And female sports just simply aren't doing that unless there's a tangible. Like I said, there's something that's locked in place. So there's, there's yeah, there's something that lo- there's, isn't locked in place that can allow... There's something that isn't locked in place that can allow that skill level to be lower and the game to still be as good. So, you know, like in tennis, the net is the same height. Great. You know, in, in hurdles, for example, the men's hurdles, I think, is 110 meters. I think the woman's is 10 meters and the hurdles are slightly lower. I think that's a fact. Um, I think in javelin, I think, the, I think the javelins are actually heavier for the men because they're thrown in with a bit more power, they need a bit more weight to control that power. I think it's the same with discus. I think it's the same with the hammer throwing. I think it's the same with the shot putting. I, you know, there's so many, it's like female long jump. You you watch it when it's on in the Olympics, but you're buzzing for the men's one, you know, because the men go about five meters further. You know, collectively it's about probably five, three to five meters further. Of course you're going to watch that. You know, women's boxing, yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. I'll probably watch it. You know, it's not as good as the UFC. For some reason, they haven't really ever got behind it. You know, and it should be good because it's just two women competing. But I think the skill level is quite low at the moment. Um, But it's not going to be as good as Deontay Wilder just knocking people clean out. Now, if there was a woman that was just rampaging through everybody, which I think there is one, she's going to have a lot more clout. She's going to make a lot more money, you know, because she's fighting other women. It makes more sense. But... You can't just say because we're doing the same thing, we should get paid as much. Like badminton players don't get paid as much as tennis players. Table tennis players don't get paid as much as tennis players. Why? Because not as many people watch it. A ton of people play table tennis, but it's not really one of those sports that has like a Wimbledon center court final, which allows the players to build up who they are and get sponsored by Nike. And then there's 7 million people watching it on one afternoon, you know, so it, it justifies the amount of money that they're getting paid because people want to be associated with those players in that sport. Table tennis, great sport. There's a ball, there's a net, both have a, you know, both have a bat or a racket, then, but they don't get paid the same. And you don't see them complaining. It could be a man playing table tennis and a man playing tennis. He knows, like, there's not as much viewership, but he's happy to get paid off doing what he loves. And it's like, girls, you, some of your sports are great. Like, I love UFC. Women's UFC is just as good as the men's. You know, I love watching it. The skill level is very high. It's fantastic. Get paid all the money you want to get paid. My eyeball's on that screen. A lot of other guys will watch it and girls will watch it. Fantastic. But you can't dunk like the men. You can't run as fast as the men. You don't jump as high as the men. You know, your physical traits aren't as good as the men. That's just biology. You know, it's just, it just doesn't look as good to for me. Like, I'm not sexist for not watching it. It just doesn't look as good. And that is why there's a gender pay gap. Now, if you want sports to be equal, WNBA, lower your, lower your rim. See how you get on. There's going to be a couple of dunks. I bet it'll be really cool to watch. 